We begin our show tonight in Delaware, where controversy continues to swirl around the state auditor's office. This comes as state auditor Kathy McGinnis continues her run for re-election. 47 ABC's Hannah Cicchini joining us now live in studio. Hannah, what's new with this case? Yeah, Jordan. Well, McGinnis was on trial for charges related to hiring her own daughter as an intern. And now the judge has made his final decision on which convictions will stand and if McGinnis will get the retrial that she wants. Calls for Delaware State Auditor Kathy McGinnis to step down are being renewed after a judge upheld jury convictions for official misconduct and conflict of interest. This comes after McGinnis's college age daughter was hired as an intern in the state auditor's office. While a third misdemeanor jury conviction for improperly structuring contract payments to a consulting firm was thrown out by the judge, McGinnis's request for a new trial was denied. In a statement from McGinnis's attorney, Steve Wood, he wrote that they were disappointed with the results, claiming that the state failed in its mission to prove McGinnis's daughter received favorable treatment while working as a seasonal intern in her office, writing in part, quote, Ms. McGinnis's daughter did the same work as the other college interns, was paid the same or less as the other college interns, and was not the only college intern who was permitted to work remotely while at school, end quote. Meanwhile, Delaware Senate and House Majority Leaders are calling for McGinnis to relinquish her seat. In a statement, Senate Majority Leaders wrote in part, quote, Delawareans have had enough. Now that she has been tried and convicted of multiple crimes and her request for a new trial has been denied, Kathy McGinnis owes it to the people of Delaware to do what is right and step down before she is forced out of the elected office, end quote. House Majority Leaders echoing that call and issuing their own statement, reading in part, quote, if she refuses to do so, the governor is required to remove her from office at the time of sentencing in accordance with the Delaware Constitution. The people of Delaware deserve better. Now, I did reach out to Governor Carney's office, and they also sent us a statement saying the governor's constitutional requirement to remove any public official convicted of misbehavior in office will happen when McGinnis is sentenced. Continuing in part, quote, it is difficult to understand how the auditor can continue to do her job effectively under these circumstances, end quote. Hannah, so we know that McGinnis is currently on the campaign trial for some re-election, trail, excuse me, for re-election. So if she is removed from office, would she be able to regain her seat in office come election time? Yeah, it's a good question, Jordan. I'm told by a Senate spokesman that the only route that would bar her from running would be impeachment. However, she, he says the House has been unwilling to entertain that option. Live in the studio, Hannah Cicchini, 47 ABC, WMDT. All right, Hannah, thanks so much. And McGinnis's attorney, Steve Wood, also tells us that she plans to appeal her conviction to the Delaware Supreme Court. During that appeal, Wood says his team plans to point out, quote, the legal and factual errors that led to her being wrongfully convicted for a crime that she did not commit, end quote.